All right, it's the post game show, and don't forget, you can join us next Thursday, as a matter of fact. We're going to be right back here at the Math Eye Center next Thursday, the 14th. Warriors in action. Hope to, to see you out here with us Thursday afternoon. Another doubleheader, ladies game 530, and of course the men's game at 730 right here on CN. 900. Well, Rod Beard, a tough loss today. The ladies with a tough loss earlier. The men with a tough loss here uh, this afternoon. As we take a look at some of those highlights, um, you know, this was a game that could have gone either way, but give credit to the visiting Cardinals. Yeah, this is a game that the Wayne State led and, and not dominated, but just led in the first half. Michael Lewis, the dish there from Ronald Booth. Chuck Key, nice turnaround here. He's going to get to the 10, drop that baby in. But I think what Wayne State lacked in the first half was the ability to pull away. They didn't make some free throws. They had an opportunity where it just stood around four or six points. Ronald Booth, he only made uh, th two free throws or two three-pointers in the game, three field goals overall, three for 14, but eight of eight uh, free throws. And Wayne State just stayed in this game long enough but never pulled away, and that was the difference because when Saginaw Valley got their opportunity, they were able to do that and grab that lead right before the end of the first half. C.J. Turney's there looking in the corner. He's going to find Bainzinger for that three. And once, again, Saginaw Valley got that lead, they didn't relinquish it throughout the second half. Well, 70 free throws for the game total, but 47 in the second half. We're not going to show any free throws in the highlight package, but I think that goes to show you how many free throws we had here tonight and how bogged down it got in the second half. Yeah, we'll just have to sift through the highlights to try to find you anything else besides free throws because it just evolved into that. But you see Chuck Key easy put in there on the pick and roll. And uh, Marcus Moore, top of the key here, going to Michael Lewis. And this is that old man move. Spin. Well, gotcha. C.J. Turnage couldn't react in time, and Lewis gets that two to drop. Lewis had 18 points and uh, three rebounds in 35 minutes. A nice, productive game for him as well. Madondo gets this. Could have been a three-point play if he had made the free throw. I think free throws were, were one of the biggest bugaboos. 27 of 40 for uh, Saginaw Valley, 23 of 32 for Wayne State. And Saginaw Valley just never gave Wayne State an opportunity to get back in this game. There's the dunk going straight to the rack from Wade Gilhaus. Wayne State got it down to one in the last couple of minutes. But again, I think, and what David Greer said echoed those words, you just have to value those possessions. Turnage and his crew managed to pull this one out with some free throws late and uh, ice this, make it a nine-point win for Saginaw Valley. Well, there's what we were talking about, 72 free throws total. Uh, goodness gracious, just a massive advantage for the Cardinal bench as well, and a deserved victory here this afternoon. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks to everybody out there. Certainly, Mike Brad, our statistician, Joe Abramson on the sideline, our entire crew as well. And most importantly, thank you guys for joining us here on CN900. It's a pleasure to bring these games to you. Don't forget, we'll be back here Thursday. That's right, 5.30 in the afternoon. Another doubleheader. We have the ladies coming up at 5.30, the men coming up at 7.30 as well. Any final thoughts, Rod? No, just an, another uh, opportunity to, to, to call a game with you. Always a pleasure. We'll, uh, I'll take a, a little break here. You'll get some Joe Abramson sitting in this chair, but it's always a pleasure to watch some Wayne State basketball. We'll see you soon, buddy. All right. Hey, thanks to everybody out there. And again, to you guys, the viewers, thanks for joining us. Wish we had better news for you, but Saginaw Valley gets it done this afternoon at the Math Night. We'll see you Thursday as the Warriors take on the Tip and Dragons. For everybody involved, I'm Sean Belegian saying goodbye for now for Midtown Detroit.